Hello, this is Tori with Our Given Purpose. This is the audio recording of Ride or Die. Visit OurGivenPurpose.com to read along. Acts chapter 5 verses 1 through 11. Now a certain man named Ananias, together with his wife Sapphira, sold a piece of property and kept back for himself some of the proceeds, and his wife was aware of it. And he brought a certain part and placed it at the feet of the apostles. But Peter said, Ananias, for what reason has Satan filled your heart that you lied to the Holy Spirit and kept back for yourself some of the proceeds of the piece of land? When it remained to you, did it not remain yours? And when it was sold, was it at your disposal? How is it that you have contrived this deed in your heart? You have not lied to people but to God. And when Ananias heard these words, he fell down and died, and great fear came on all those who heard about it. So the young men stood up, wrapped him up, and carried him out and buried him. And it happened that there was an interval of about three hours, and his wife came in not knowing what had happened. And Peter said to her, tell me whether you both were paid this much for the piece of land. And she said, Yes, this much. So Peter said to her, How is it that it was agreed by you too to test the spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of those who buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out. And immediately she fell down at his feet and died. So when the young men came in, they found her dead and carried her out and buried her with her husband. And great fear came on the whole church and all who heard about these things. Acts chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Ride or die. Focus scripture, Acts 5, 2. And he kept back for himself some of the proceeds, and his wife was aware of it, and he brought a certain part and placed it at the feet of the apostles. The definition of ride or die. To stand by your partner no matter what, through the good and the bad, always taking their side even when you believe they are wrong, sticking up for them even over the most minute put down someone flings their way, being completely protective of them physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and sharing everything together as best friends with full trust and loyalty to the death. Urban Dictionary. Take a moment and think, who is your ride or die? Who is the one person that no matter what, they will stand beside you through anything? Once you have that person in mind, ask yourself, would I be willing to do the same for them? Acts 5.1 introduces us to Ananias and Sapphira. They made a plan to keep a portion of the proceeds from selling their property, but have everyone think they had given 100% to the church. So what was the problem? What was the big deal in keeping some of the money? They lied. They pretended to be gracious philanthropists. Ananias and Sapphira did not have to give if they did not want to. We learn as we read through this tragic story of dishonesty that Ananias falls dead after Peter, through the Holy Spirit, reveals that Ananias had lied to God. Three hours later, Sapphira shows up perhaps wondering what was keeping her husband away or why the transaction was taking so long. Let's camp out here for a moment. When a lie begins, we may be in on the plan, but somewhere the execution changes. Satan, the father of lies, wants to divide and conquer. Keeping the two of them separate was part of his scheme. When the Apostle Peter asked Sapphira if the amount they received from the sale of the property was the amount they gave, Sapphira, thinking her husband was alive and well, continued to lie. She was her husband's ride or die because that is the story they agreed to. And the other issues are faith, trust, decency, and honor. Sapphira decided to honor the man who in this case was her husband and perhaps she feared to lose him. She stood in the temple before God and lied. Peter asked her a direct question and she chose to lie going with the plan. When we go with a plan that was built on dishonesty, nothing good will come of it. It is the fruit of a poisonous tree. 
we will not be able to enjoy any of the fruit of our labor because it was ill-gotten gains. It could be our relationships, education, home, job, or our lives in general. How we get to where we are is based on a lie if we did not do it God's way. Verses 1 through 10 serves as another example of how all-knowing God is and who he uses to bring truth to light. Peter was used in this instance to shine the light on deceit. Ananias and Sapphira were the unfortunate casualties of Satan's plan. Their ride or die bond of deception buried both of them. Are we loyal to God or man? God gives us opportunities to serve him by serving others, but if we decide to fake our way through it by lying, we are giving in to Satan. Satan uses people to stack more responsibility onto our already full schedules and have us think we are not doing enough. This is the, not the way of the Lord, for his yoke is easy. Our God will not put more on us than we can bear. Competition, lack of focus, distorted priorities, these mindless, selfish thinkings will have us wanting to impress others instead of obeying God. We do not please him when we lie or take advantage of those willing to help us. No, God wants to our cooperation and to be so closely knitted in a relationship with him that we seek his approval before anyone else's. Christ offers us something that humans cannot, the choice to ride and live in him.